here's one that is both inspiring and depressing. Um, so two uh, uh, two companies, uh, uh, two companies, uh, Waymo and Cruise, Waymo and Cruise, have been testing out self-driving cars in San Francisco over the last uh, year, uh, since really the end of 2021, when they got permission uh, from the state of California to basically run tests with self-driving cars, basically no driver. I mean, there's a driver there, there's somebody sitting there, but he has he doesn't manifest control. And um, you can, uh, you can like Uber, you can order a, one of these driverless taxis to come and pick you up and drop you off. And, uh, and uh, you know, the, these have been driving around, driving around uh, San Francisco for a year and a half now. Uh, the results are pretty astounding. Uh, that is, the, the number of accidents as compared to what one would expect from a human driver, uh, a fraction. Uh, they're down by, I have actually the stats here. Um, here's what it is. 53% uh, fewer collisions, 92% fewer collisions in which the driver, in this case, the driverless vehicle was at fault, right? So you still had collisions because the other party was at fault, right? Somebody else drove into the car. But even there, you know, 92 less fuel collision where the the car involved, in this case, Cruz, uh, was involved, was at fault. 73% fewer collisions with a meaningful risk of injury uh, than, their, uh, than the human performance benchmark, right? So these are astounding results. Basically, if we switch to driverless cars tomorrow, the number of fatalities, the number of injuries, the number of major accidents on the road would plummet. And of course, it wouldn't be perfect. There'd still be some accidents uh, going on. The driverless cars would make quote, mistakes, and there would be challenges, but we'd learn from those challenges and keep improving the cars. And in 10 years from now, we might have a car system where nobody drives, where the cars are all driving themselves, and where there are basically zero accidents on the road. That's what happened with flight. Originally, flight was quite dangerous. There were a lot of accidents. People died. And yet the last airplane to crash with fatalities in the United States, I mean, major airline, was 2001. 2001, that's over 20 years. We have not had a, a major fatality, uh, a, a fatality causing crash in the United States in airlines. Now, how did they do that? They did it by learning, by taking risks, by learning. And yes, they were accidents and they kept improving. They kept getting better and figured out what happened with those accidents. And today we have nothing. So he have a technology that is going to that has the potential to dramatically reduce traffic jams because people would drive more effectively, dramatically reduce collisions, because right now it only reduces collisions by fifty three percent because all the other drivers on the street on the road are, are human, uh, but it has the potential to reduce collisions by ninety percent tomorrow if all the cars are self driving cars and 100% of collisions within a decade or two. Reduce, dramatically reduce collisions with any meaningful risk of injury. And uh, at the same time, but at the same time, um, uh, you know, it, 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 because at, at the same time, uh, there is massive opposition to these cars, primarily uh, by people in San Francisco where these uh, things were being run. Uh, you know, people are objecting because, um, uh, because uh, you know, this, this rollout, which California is considering rolling these out, allowing driverless cars in California, which is stunning and amazing and wow, so exciting. And yet, there's a uh, there's a, a, a number of reports uh, saying that um, a Waymo vehicle killed a small dog. A week later, there was a Guardian report saying that one of Cruz's vehicles obstructed emergency crew responding to a mass shooting. Last week, there was a Twitter posted a video of a near-death experience at the hand of a driverless car after Waymo ran a yellow-red light and nearly jackknifed another car. 
and all these stories are rolling out and people are panicking and people are hysterical and people are worried what's going to happen we're going to you know people are going to die and it turns out in every one of those cases um you know people are either lying or significantly misrepresenting the truth uh, with the little dog the dog just ran out into the street with no leash from a par- behind a parked car no human beings could have stopped that and he got run over I mean, dogs are going to get run over. Don't l- allow your dog to be unleashed in, in a, in a, in a, next to a street. I, you know, what were the other cases? It turned out that uh, the, um, uh, the obstruction of an emergency crew just never happened. Uh, the Waymo car that, was, uh, that, that had noticed that there was an emergency, there was a mass shooting in San Francisco, gang-related, uh, it turned out that the car noticed that the, the emergency vehicles were en route. It did a U-turn, parked on the other side of the road to get out of the way of the emergency vehicles. Indeed, uh, emergency crews were interviewed later and testified that that's exactly what the car did, and it actually helped them. It's not clear human beings would have been that fast and responded that well. And the jackknifing was the car uh, not running a yellow red light but there were cars in front of it that were backed up into the intersection it had realized uh, the car the ai driven car realized that it couldn't go through so it stopped before the 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 pedestrian park uh, the pedestrian things letting pedestrians pass and yes as a consequence it was sticking into traffic behind but that's pretty good Anyway, um, a lot of this is driven by just fear of technology, but a lot of this is driven by drivers, by taxi drivers, by Uber drivers, by people who are afraid of losing their jobs. Uh, There's panic and fear of a new technology, but the data is unambiguous that uh, 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 you know, autonomous vehicles are safer than human drivers by several factors and significant life saving savers. Um, and yet, there is a big battle, big battle in, in, uh, in all of California over this. Um, you know, the, the good thing about California is that, that there are a lot of smart, risk taking people there, the, the, the industry is there. And the industry is pushing to have this approved. Um, but there are also a lot of these anti-technology forces. It's going to be interesting to see um, to see who wins. Organized labor is, uh, is uh, in lockstep opposition to the autonomous vehicle rollout. They, you know, this is going to hurt, again, different unions that relate to, to driving. Um, the uh, fire departments are against it, uh, you know, and, and the fire, firefighters union is against it, the Taxi Workers Alliance is against it, the Teamsters are against it, and you can just imagine uh, all, all these forces against progress, all these Luddite forces against this massive innovation. Uh, and here is a, a positive use of AI uh, that is... Uh, 